This video will focus on the local installation of the USACE 4.0 workspace. This is going to be certified for the following product versions, MicroStation 10.17.261 or higher, OpenRoads Designer Connect Edition 10.12.159. This is also known as 2022R2. Open Buildings Designer 10.9.2.36 and Pro Structures 10.7.1.59. Please note this workspace is not certified to work on any other versions of this software. The first thing you'll want to do is download the latest workspace, which it's not shown yet at the time of this recording, uh, but you will see a download for the AEC workspace phase four, which. So with the USACE 4.0 workspace downloaded, I put it in my temp folder. We're going to unzip that, but before we do, I want to go back to where our prior workspace was, so our 3.3.6 or beyond, and that's in this configuration AEC, if we're doing things local. And so you may want to um, back things up here, uh, in particular, this configuration AEC. This will not be overwritten. Uh, we'll be uh, making a new folder structure here just called AEC, which will be the 4. Dot series. And so you don't have to worry about uh, that your current or, or your prior workspace being overwritten if you're doing this local. So we're going to jump back to our downloaded file. We're going to right click and I'm going to show 7-zip, which is free uh, to use. And so we're going to extract files. And the folder structure is already stored in the zip file. So you want to extract 2C colon, make sure this check is off and the path mode is set to full path names and eliminate duplication of root folder is checked on and overwrite mode would be ask before overwrite. And you are going to essentially put the same files in this project wise configuration folder structure. So you can say uh, yes to overwrite those. You can go through them one at a time or you can hit yes to all. The other files that will be overwritten will be the configuration setup files, which sets up the custom workspace. And we'll take a look at those in just a minute. So you'll see those coming up. So you'll have one for MicroStation, one for Open Buildings, one for Open Roads, and one for Pro Structures. And then we also have a PDF file that we're overriding. So now if we take a look back at our master folder structure. We have this new AEC folder structure under program data. And that is going to be our new environment, our 4.0 workspace environment. But let's take a look at uh, what it did for the configuration setup. So I'm just going to show for MicroStation here under configuration, this configuration setup CFG file. And you'll see what it does is it adds this path, uh, C colon program data, AEC WS, and then AEC, which is the configuration, custom configuration folder. So now when we go to run Open Roads Designer, and this is supported for 10.12, we could have done this test with MicroStation as well. You'll want to select over on the left, uh, the custom configuration, and then you should have the two options there for English and metric, and then you should have your templates. Now, if you want to make your own uh, work set or your own project, uh, you definitely would want to do that. These templates are set up for uh, you to make copies of and paste. And so let's see how we would do that. So I'm going to go ahead and close Open Roads Designer for a minute. And we're going to jump over to that folder structure where we want to make that copy. So let's say, for example, we want to call make a copy of the survey foot template folder structure at the work set. And so you'll see the folder that I'm at. So I'm just going to copy this folder structure and I'm going to paste it. And I'm just gonna call this something simple. I'll call it uh, my project. And you also have to copy uh, the configuration file. So the survey foot configuration file, we'll copy that and we'll paste it. And it just needs to be given the same name. 
So now when we open Open Roads Designer again, that new work set will be available to us. So now when we go to our work set, we'll see my project, and then we can proceed to uh, create a new file. If I create a new file, it should be pointing to the uh, my project work set folder structure, and it is, and you can pick your seed file, type in your new uh, file name, open that up, and you'll be good to go in your workspace and your work set.